Hello students, welcome to my second video of ecosystems in my last video. So I have covered uh, the first part, the introduction part of ecosystem. So why do we call it as ecosystems and what are the different types of ecosystems and we have seen uh, a food chain, all those things and all in a very in a periphery level. So in this video, I'm going to explain a very deeper level. So in, in detail, we are going to study. So mainly I'm going to focus on uh, two different things like biotic components and uh, types of ecosystem so in this uh, particular video so let us move to the first slide so first one is the biotic uh, components uh, first we'll see that biotic and uh, abiotic so all those things and that biotic components already we have seen in, the, in my previous video i have explained what is a uh, biotic components and what is abiotic components right non-living organisms which are present in the ecosystem is nothing but abiotic system components and living organisms which are present in the biot i mean uh, ecosystem is nothing but biotic components now let us see in this uh, video a little more uh, deeper level so what exactly it is now first i will take this uh, producer organisms all right <clears throat> in the producer organisms the producers are mainly grasses right plants or uh, uh, saplings or trees so they will produce food on their own so th that's why they are called as a producer organisms so they will not depend on others okay rather they take uh, sun's radiation and uh, rain water and uh, so they prepare food in the photosynthesis process and so that's why they are called as a producer organisms so, so mainly grasses uh, though a few herbs and shrubs also contribute to primary pro production of biomass right some of the uh, what you call common species of grasses the grasses names are given over here as an example okay so the, all these things come under producer organisms so it come under biotic components now <clears throat> now i'm going to categorize like uh, producers consumers and decomposers so i just have just categorized into three different types and the respective images are shown on the slide so first one is the producers different grass species right so you can see the different grass species and all okay so different names are given to that so so those are called as a producers now slowly we will move on to this consumers of uh, grassland ecosystem okay these are the consumers so there are lots of insects birds and uh, animals uh, creatures so all these things will depend on this producers okay so those are called as a consumers of grassland ecosystem so it can be uh, different consumers if you come out of this grassland so it can, it will uh, uh, hunt right or it is it depends uh, it depend on other animals too so those are called as consumers of uh, ecosystem particularly if you talk about this grassland so these are the creatures will come come into picture in the same way for the grassland ecosystem so in more this decomposers so these are the decomposers in the grassland ecosystems in the grass so sort of insects will come and eat it up so even the plants you can see that so in the agriculture field so the farming so there will be uh, lots of insects will uh, eat the plants okay so those are will come under this decomposers so that is the difference between producers consumers and uh, decomposers now coming to this uh, desert ecosystem right so the desert is a landscape or region that receives almost no precipitation right so here that uh, uh, desert we know that the number of deserts are which are available in india so how does it look like sand particles sometimes it will be extremely hot sometimes it will be extremely cold and uh, there will not be sufficient water available okay so that is nothing but the ecosystem a desert ecosystem and coming to this uh, area it occupies about 17% of the earth surface so only 17% of earth surface will be occupied by this desert so this the, uh, how the deserts are categorized so deserts are categorized by hot days and cold nights so it will be uh, if it is a hot days it will be extremely hot and uh, during uh, winter i mean winter season it will be extremely cold so in that way deserts are categorized and um, the different deserts of the world are mainly located in the southwestern uh, united states mexico 
right so these are the different places where you come across this desert ecosystem now let us move on to this now we'll see that biotic components as i told you that biotic producer organisms will be there and the consumer organisms will be there and decomposers will be there right so first one is uh, in the fresh water we are going to see that so this is the fresh water ecosystem so in this fresh water so why why do we call it as it's fresh water it is uh, away from the salt content okay so in that that is nothing but the fresh water ecosystems in that fresh water ecosystems so we can see lots of organ living organisms and uh, so that is, those are biotic components so first one is producer organisms so it includes submerged free floating and amphibious macrophytes like uh, hydrilla so all those names are given right uh, and suspended lower phytoplanktons so these are the producer organisms they will uh, produce their food on its own under the fresh water now coming to this consumer organisms the, those are categorized into different types like one is primary consumers secondary consumers and tertiary consumers so they are zooplanktons and benthos those are primary consumers right next one is secondary consumers they are carnivores like they eat uh, insects and fish fishes fish and feeding on uh, herbivores those are secondary consumers now coming to this uh, tertiary consumers they are the large fish you uh, know eating on the small fish so that is nothing but tertiary consumers now moving on to this decomposers they are microorganisms like bacteria fungi and uh, acetonomites so these are the decomposers names so they we uh, what you call they divide that microorganisms into small small organisms microorganisms and they consume it so those, those called uh, they are called as a decomposers now coming to this fresh water ecosystem abiotic so we have finished biotic and coming to this abiotic so these are the inorganic as well as organic substances present in the bottom soil or dissolved in water so in addition to the minerals some dead organic matter is also present so those are called as abiotic so not only the living organisms so apart from that so inorganic and uh, which are dissolved in water and sometimes uh, dead organic matter is also present under the fresh water so those are called as abiotic components now coming to this <clears throat> marine or ocean ecosystem so it's a huge one ocean in the sense there are lots of living organisms non living organisms present under the sea under the ocean right so my marine ecosystems in the earth aquatic eco they include oceans estuaries lagoons mangroves and uh, coral Uh, reefs and deep uh, sea and sea floor and the what you call the percentage of the ocean which are covered by by the ocean water on the earth surface is 71 percentage uh, an area of some 361 million square kilometers are occupied uh, as e ocean ecosystems in the earth surface so these ecosystems are different from fresh water ecosystem mainly because of its salty water as i told you that how does it differ from this fresh eco system is nothing but it is uh, away from the salt now food chains already have explained about this and we have, we'll see some more information about this food chains so transfer of energy nutrients from one feeding group of organism to the other so uh, transferring one form of energy into another form of energy so that is nothing but the chain the food chain here we have three types are there producers consumers and decomposers of each ecosystem made up a food chain so there are uh, many food chains in the ecosystem the energy is transferred and uh, not who eats who right so that is nothing but this uh, food chain now the pictures that we can see here producer and then so next comes the primary consumers so small small insects and next come secondary consumers birds and then tertiary consumers a fox and then the other microorganisms bacteria fungi so decomposers so this will form a food chain that's the example of food chain now other food chains under the right uh, ocean uh, water so all for in the area food uh, web of the area maintaining the stability of the ecosystem so everything Uh, will make a uh, equilibrium the stability in the ecosystems so next one the other things like plants so how that uh, so many things will uh, uh, eat the plants and grass so how it is uh, forming a chain and how it is forming a web so it is clearly you can see in this uh, 
uh, image and now how the energy flow takes place okay from sun's radiation uh, coming and falling on the plants and it produces uh, energy and then come back it will uh, energy will send back and then there comes the primary consumers and there comes the secondary consumers and next they comes uh, decomposers so while well, all these things depending on each other taking food and it uh, uh, emits energy that energy flow back uh, will uh, back to this uh, ecosystem right this is how the energy flow takes place so this is all about the few glimpse of uh, the food chain on this biotic and abiotic so thank you for watching this video